We are the Sea Owls from FAU High School in Florida, and this is our rookie year in the Seapurse competition. Seapurse is an underwater innovative robotics program that equips students with the resources they need to build a low cost underwater remotely operated vehicle. The Seapurse program provides students with an opportunity to learn about STEM concepts and careers. Seapurse is supported at the national level by the Office of Naval Research, among many other corporate sponsors that contribute to the success of the program. Since the FAU mascot is an owl, we named our team the Sea Owls. We later found out that the Sea Owl was a Ballo class submarine that was named after a lumpfish. The USS Sea Owl served from 1944 to 1969. It received five battle stars for its service in the Pacific War during World War II. It later served as a naval training submarine. The submarine had three tours of duty in which it rescued pilots, sank ships, and dealt with sea mines. Thankfully, the USS Sea Owls has allowed us to use their name for our ROV. Now here's my friend Nick to tell you about our team and our school. FAU High is a dual enrollment lab school located on the Florida Atlantic University campus in Boca Raton. FAU High gives students the opportunity to graduate high school with an associate's and or bachelor's degree before they even get to college. Through the process of building, testing, modifying, and competing with our underwater ROV, the whole team developed their time management skills and teamwork skills. In addition, we learned about important STEM concepts. We are all ninth grade students at FAU High. Participating in the Sea Perch competition has taught us to manage our time effectively and to work together. Sea Perch introduces students to STEM concepts, and everyone on the team has been inspired to pursue a career in STEM fields. I worked on building and designing the ROV, waterproofing motors, making 3D models of the ROV, and I am the obstacle course driver for the competition. Ian is the driver for the Ring Retrieval Challenge. He has also worked on designing and building the ROV. Gwen was the ROV driver for the Spontaneous Challenge at the state competition and has worked on designing the poster and constructing and modifying the ROV. Janet is the tether operator for the obstacle course and has worked on improving buoyancy and designing the poster. Taj is the tether operator for the ring retrieval challenge. He has also been instrumental in building the ROV. Alan Phipps is the STEM coordinator for FAU High. He is also an Einstein Fellow. Alan Phipps specializes in alternative energy education. He received the Presidential Award for Excellence in Math and Science Teaching. Here are some of our teammates practicing driving the ROV. This is the original design that was provided by the Sea Perch organization. We liked it very much, but we wanted to do something original in order to solve the engineering problem. This is our fourth ROV design. We color-coded the port and starboard sides of our robot so that we could easily recognize which way the ROV was facing. We had three prongs to catch rings for the ring retrieval challenge. Unfortunately, it was too difficult to modify the robot for the obstacle course. Also, the ROV was too positively buoyant and kept rising up to the surface and it was making it very hard to dive. The ROV kept turning to the left even when we were attempting to drive straight. One positive thing of the ROV was that our flotation did not take in that much water, unlike our previous design. What you see here is the improved design that we took to the state competition in Daytona. This ROV was easily modifiable. The front was easily changed between a flat bar for the obstacle course and a hooked piece for the ring retrieval challenge. The biggest change in design was the flotation. We had previously used foam noodles for buoyancy, but we noticed that they were always absorbing a large amount of water. We replaced the noodles for waterproof air tubes, which were easy to adjust. Our strategy in the ring retrieval challenge was to knock the rings to the pool floor before retrieving them and placing them in the lower basket for more points. Taj will now come on and talk to you about our state competition in Daytona. We drove to Daytona, Florida for the regionals at Embry-Riddle University. Despite the horrible conditions, we were still able to have a great time and we were able to learn a lot about ROVs. The spontaneous challenge was to catch four small mechanical fishes. We modified our robot and built a large cage to catch the fish and win. The yellow zip ties were used to mark the mouth of the cage. 
Here's the team eating after a long competition. Even though some of the competitions were hard, we were still able to prevail. What really helped us was the closer competition in which we sweep the competition. We were honored and amazed that we won third place in states and we vowed we'd do better in nationals. Here's my teammate Nick talking to you about Indianapolis and our sponsors. We are now headed to the national championship in Indianapolis. We are very excited to go all the way to nationals and we hope that we'll do very well. The competition will be held at the natatorium at Indiana Purdue University. The natatorium is an Olympic sized pool and is actually the largest indoor swimming pool in the United States. FAU has one of the best ocean mechanical engineering programs, so we consulted an ocean mechanical engineer who suggested that we use a trap door to catch rings in the ring retrieval challenge. We have already included his suggestion in our new design for the national competition. We are headed to Harbor Branch, the Ocean Discovery Center for FAU, because the engineers there will help us to further improve our design so that we can be very successful at nationals. We'd like to thank our sponsors. The USS Sea Owl Association, Resolve Marine Group, Advanced Green Technologies, Executive Do It Best Hardware, Florida Atlantic University Harbor Branch, FAU College of Education, and FAU College of Engineering and Computer Science.